two, three, and four. my very marrow. And why is that? Because it's a bloody hurricane out there. There I was, comfortable on my sofa, a bottle of wine, a long stem candle. And I could be there still, if not for your oh-so-desperate text message. Come to the bar, Veronica. I don't know if I can go on, Veronica. And then you have the audacity not to answer or return my repeated calls. So what do I do? I get up, I dress myself, I drink my bottle of wine, and I head out the door. Why is that? Because I'm a good friend. We are going to have words, Polly, my dear, just as soon as I untie you and... Why are you tied up? Finally! What were you thinking? I didn't realize you were tied up after the ordeal you put me through. I nearly lost my head. But... Oh, Veronica, untie me. Well, I would if these knots were not so tight. I can't risk my nails on that. Right, I could call the police now. Well, that's a good idea. But first, while well, I have my phone, I should really take a picture of you. I hate you so much. <laughs> Unhand me, ruffian. Hello, Veronica. Hello, shadowy woman. I suppose you are to blame for all of this. I'd be lying if I said it was good to see you again. But I expect some satisfaction by the time we part. Shit in my son's urn, will you? <laughs> oh, looks like you already had your fair share of sausage. He's a bit young, isn't he? You know what they say, there's grass in the field. But, no, seriously, he's a bit young. I'm gonna have to pass. And children and angels wept at the loss. Morning, Anthony. Guess I'm a real boy after all. Now, how about we get you a breath of mint? The ropes are quite tight, Holden. We don't want her to escape. She's slippery. Veronica, what is going on here? Who is this? Veronica, perhaps you could introduce me to your friend. I'm sorry, do I know you? Don't you pretend, don't you dare. You know who I am. Do I? Veronica, I'm normally okay with being manhandled, but this is a bit excessive. <gasps> oh, well, I wish I could tell you who she is, Polly, but I haven't the slightest idea who this wrinkled old crumb is. However, will we survive getting wet? Take a whiff, dear. Oh, it smells like, it smells like gas, Veronica. I'm covered in gas. What's in my eye? Mother Dolores, how are you, darling? I hardly recognize you. You look so 
haggard. I look nothing of the sort. I suppose age coupled with grief could really do a number on one. I myself do not suffer from age of any sort, so all the grief I've had thrust upon me over the years has barely left its mark. I said that's enough. Oh, perhaps it's the lighting in this establishment. I've talked to the proprietors. It really does nothing to enhance the beauty of a woman. Okay, who is this woman? It's Aaron's mother. <gasps> Your ex-husband, Aaron. Dead husband, Polly, dead. Oh, okay. What are you doing here? What do you want? Oh, you'll see. You'll see. We don't need to cover up. I've already seen it all. Get out now. In the middle of a hurricane. That's not very friendly of you. I don't want you here! You weren't saying that last night. And let me tell you, I miss that ass more than I care to admit. I tried to tell you, Anthony. Hey. Hey! Look at me when I'm talking to you, man. I think I deserve an apology for how I've been treated this past year. He is insufferable. Did you know that I had to get a job? Uh, th this can't be the first time you've ever had to work before. Seriously, you've never had a job before. My parents didn't think it was necessary. It was something I disagreed with his mother about. She wouldn't listen to me, and now, now look at him. <laughs> well, I don't think it's so bad that you have to work for a living. In fast food? Does this look like a person that should be flipping burgers for a living? Yeah, money is money. There's nothing shameful about how you make it. Tell it to my hair! I still can't get the grease out of it! Look, I'm sorry that- Stop it! Don't apologize to him! But he's had his whole life abandoned- Don't it. you dare try to humanize him! Right. Anyway, I guess things will be looking up, considering your divorce and all. Wait a minute. How did you know about that? A little birdie told me. Poor big fat baker. Oh, it makes sense. Those two would find each other. I'm gonna I'm gonna say this as clearly as possible for you, okay? This was a mistake. I thought I was making the whole thing up just to punish myself. This is not a reconciliatory action. I don't want you back! Well, I don't know what to tell you, because that's what you got. Where's my phone? It doesn't pay to be a nice girl So here's what you do It doesn't pay to be a nice girl You gotta do what you want It doesn't pay to be a nice girl Not bad, kid. Stop, you make me blush. So, uh, it's nice to meet you, Eddie. Edward, please. I'm going by Eddie since I was 12. Oh. Eddie's my brother's name. Wait, you have a brother? Where is he? Well, he's, uh... He's not around anymore. Hey, get your own food. And since this is your apartment, I'm gonna remind myself this probably is your food, and I hope you let that one slide. Well, why don't you just finish up your breakfast there and get on your way, eh? Please, why don't you open with this close? Wait. I'm sorry, you want me to leave? I thought that was pretty clear. You do realize there's a hurricane raging outside. You can't expect me to go out in that. But what are you gonna do? You're gonna hang out here all day? <laughs> you invited a hookup over the night before a hurricane. You knew the risk, stud. Yeah, we gotta keep you off those dating apps when you're depressed, eh, Mama Bear? I told you not to call me that. Sassy little thing. He's a good spanking. When he's older, of course. You know, I know just the guy, my master. Oh, you've got a master. Yeah, I hope that doesn't weird you out any. Oh, no, no, no. I'm a master myself, but I'm well versed in the lifestyle. Well, that explains the houseboy then. <laughs> no, he's just, he's... <sighs> Look, that stuff's just for the bedroom anyway. So you're one of those part-time masters then. I don't make them like they used to, eh? <laughs> My master and I lived a life 24-7. Well, if that were true, you wouldn't be here right now. Actually, you're meant to be my last hurrah. After the storm clears, my master's gonna have a little surgery and remove my penis. Oh! Excuse me one moment. Part-timers. 
Mother Dolores, don't you think you should untie us before this goes too far? Oh, I'm afraid this has gone too, too far already. You have gotten away with too much, Veronica, and I'm not going to stand for it anymore. But don't you want to let me go? I mean, I have absolutely nothing to do with you, lady. Oh, your lack of complicity in the destruction of my beautiful baby into a bloated abomination aside. I can't have you going to the police. By the by, Dolores, I can hardly be held responsible for the chubbification of Aaron. That was all Hunter's doing. Don't you think I know that? What do you think prompted the choice of the menu? I don't know. I mean, there's supposed to be a hurricane that time next week. I feel kind of guilty renting you this bar if you're unable to host the event. Uh, don't worry, you fuzzy little head. My event will happen from rain or from shine. Maybe I should talk to my partners first. Hunter should be here soon. I don't think that's necessary. I'm prepared to write you a check right now. Uh, how many zeros did you say that would be? Hunter and his cronies, not a full brain between them. Fortunate for me. I need a patsy to blame when they find the bodies, or what's left of the bodies. What better place for them to find what's left than in the bar owned by the wretched man that hurt my son? Hunter didn't do anything wrong. One more word, I want you to beat her senseless. Hey, I can't hit a girl. Sexist? Veronica! Hunter only did as Aaron asked, as he begged. Your little Aaron was a simpering, crawling, craven submissive who had an endless appetite for two things at the end of his life. How dare you? My son would never, ever allow himself to become fat on purpose. And gay. Don't forget the gay part. He was a giant among men. He would never succumb to the will of others. He certainly was gigantic at the end. Maybe you don't want to tick this woman off, Veronica. You may hate me, but Aaron was who he was and it was his choice. We all accepted him for that and you should too. <laughs> Except for me, because I actually didn't even know him. So maybe you could just let me go, oh, please. Polly, don't bother trying to make her understand. Her veins run red with spite. I just, I don't want to, I don't want to be punished because this woman can't accept who her son was. Such incendiary language could have serious consequences. I'd be careful. What do you want, Mother Dolores? You're growing tiresome. Oh, patience, patience. All will be revealed in due course. Be sure to keep an eye on them, Holden. I'm gonna go take a shower. Well, I'll join you. Stay! Sure thing, Mama Bear. Kid, I mean, wish I was back in high school again. But trust me, if you knew what I went through in high school, you know how hard of a wish that is for me. Yeah, you old queens always talking about how hard high school was. But you didn't have it half as tough as I did, and I had it easy compared to some guys. I got HIV from my high school boyfriend who cheated on me at a rave. When the other kids found out my status, you you know how cool kids can be. Wow. That's dark. Not everybody's scars are on the surface, Reese. Yeah, it's no wonder you want to cut your dick off. <laughs> Let's be clear about something. I don't want to cut my dick off. My master does. Okay. You do you, Eddie. Edward! But just remember that if you cut your dick off, you've got nothing to hold on to while you're being ridden around the bedroom. Yeah, that's true, but I... I What's I this? Oh, this is one of my favorite films as a kid. Come here, Lacey. I want to try landing some field goals in between your goal posts and my tongue. <laughs> oh, yeah. Slip it in my pocket. I saw it in your collection, so I had to put it on. What is this, anyway? It looks like porn. It is a porn, kid. Amongst the hottest I've ever seen. Good stuff. Why are they trying to tell a story? Just get to the sex. It's coming. It's coming. You really don't know much about privacy, do you, Bub? Well, considering all you know about me, I figure we were an open book at this point. Yeah, well... This is my brother's film. We used to watch it every year for his birthdays. Like our tradition. That's a bit of wackadoo. <laughs> for me to say that, you know it's crazy. Yeah, well. I'm gonna go take a shower. You can keep watching my film. You said it was your brother's film.
There you are. So glad you could join me. You better untie me. Oh, you said you didn't want to leave. I'm just making sure you don't. Alive, anyway. I don't believe this. What I believe is all that matters now. And I believe you're going to suffer for what you've done to Anthony. Oh, are you What are you talking Shh. There'll be time for screaming soon enough. But first, I have to get some things from the kitchen. What are you doing? Oh, don't you worry your pretty little head. Carla has this under control. Feeling better? Yeah. Nothing like a hot shower after a hot night of sex. Yeah, and a healthy dosage of man milk. You have an impressive penis. Of course I do. Yeah. All right, anyway, what I don't understand is uh, that film you're talking about, Lacey and blah blah blah, so you watched it with your brother, meaning he was gay? No, no, no. So then you guys never... No! No! Ugh, no! No. Seems like a missed opportunity to me. You would think that, wouldn't you? <sighs> Did you know? Know what? That guy there. Did you know he was sick? Sick? Looks fine to me. No, I mean... Did you know he had, you know... You know. Did I know he was positive? Mm -hmm. Of course I did. We talked about it before he came over. And you still did it with him anyway? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Have you seen him? I can't believe he's going to chop his dick off. But Andre, that's... That's dangerous. That's life, kid. Ignorance. That's dangerous. Closer. You smell familiar. Of course. Pizza? Do I look like I eat that many carbs? Oh, uh, no. Oh, thank God, that's great. Keep the change. Yes? Oh, hello, ma'am. Uh, can I interest you in a book about our Lord and Savior, The Blind Spaghetti Monster? No! Yes? Hello, ma'am. Can I spare a moment of your time? I'm a down on my luck screenwriter, and I happen to be fleeing from a bunch of debt collectors. Okay, I happen to need a place to hide away to work on my screenplay. And I got this great idea when I happen to see you look in the window, okay? You would happen to be my muse. And this screenplay is just a perfect starting vehicle for you. I'll be out in a minute, Mr. Williams. Sure thing. Huh? To discuss the writing. You see, I'm a star, and it's been far, far too long since I've let my star shine. Right. My, 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 Mr. Williams, is that a sword in your jacket, or are you just happy to see me? I, uh, I've gotta go. What about the script I've inspired? I, am. Uh, I, I wrote it already, uh, while you were in the crap of I was powdering my nose! Whatever. Well, aren't you gonna at least tell me what it's about? Uh, I've, adapt, I've adapted a story about uh, Salome for you, to you. Salome?
I should have known you were full of it. Me, Salome? Not with these slender, dainty hips. Look, I was just doing a job, lady. Yes, well, so was I. <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> it pays to be best friends with a bondage master. <laughs> so wait, that's why you were dressed as Salome as opposed to my twin for the Halloween party. Yes, I was trying to get into character, but I think it's time we ask for someone's head on a plate. Squirm. Squirm for me, you sniveling way. Squirm for me. I don't know why you're doing this, but please stop. Why? Why? You don't get to ask why when you already know the answer. The answer is very deep within you. I'll be happy to dig it out. Please, this doesn't make any sense. Oh, why shouldn't you be punished for the way you treat the people in your life? How many men have you just used, just chewed up and spit out like cud? The world is your pasture, and you're some lazy cow just chopping it up. That's not true. Oh, Horatio, I'm getting bored with you. <laughs> I just want to see how you're doing during this big st- oh. Get out! Oh, thank God, the stupid priest! Are you sleeping with him again? Does it look like we're having sex? Anthony, I... I mean, if this is what'll make you happy, just be careful with the knife. You don't want to cut yourself. Hmm. Now, where were we? Look, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, really, but uh, Anthony, are you sure this is what you want? Yes. Now go. Sorry about that. But I think we'll have our privacy now. Anthony, look, Anthony, I know I made mistakes, but you don't really want to kill me. You, you can't be serious. <laughs> I don't think you know me at all right now, little grub. I'm sorry, but you got him out of your life once before, and you've made such great progress since then. I wouldn't be a good friend if I let him get his hooks into you again. Take a long, hard look, Padre. Do I look like I want to be here? I'm talking to Anthony, not to you. <laughs> oh, God. I'm sorry, Father. Anthony's not here right now. <laughs> yeah, I get why you did it, Leandro. I just need you to understand that that was my decision to make and not yours. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. How's your place holding up in the storm? Good. Good. Yeah, I'll be over in a while. Yeah, I love... Yeah, I'll talk to you later. Yeah, bye. Now for the police. Oh, oh, we don't need them. We can handle this harpy on our own. Oh, yeah. Something must have Shh. something must have snapped in her. Please. She's always been a shrew. The only person I've ever seen her be nice to is Aaron, and all her coddling turned him into the wretch he became. Yeah, but that's gotta be really hard. I mean, losing your son. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry about that. That was insensitive. People die. We move on because we haven't. To dwell on the past means we might as well be dead ourselves. That's a lovely sentiment, Veronica. Oh my god, oh my god, she's got it going. It's a lighter, Polly, please. Perhaps. Hey, lady, are you gonna untie me? And save you from your own foolishness, I think not. You could just let us go. I, what do you want with us anyway? I want Veronica to suffer. Oh, sit down, both of you. Sarah here. 
What are you going to do? Light her a cigarette? So oh, perhaps you have forgotten that your friend here has been doused in gasoline. She'll go up like a rocket. I've done my research, you see. Fine. Excellent. Now for the last guest. Did you chop someone up and put them into that canister? Is that what you're going to do to us? <laughs> Relax, Polly. That's the urn Aaron was in before I flushed him. I managed to reconstitute my baby. I burned the hair from his first salon visits. I ground the baby teeth that I had packed away. I even melted the sixth finger he had been born with on his left hand. You saved a finger? Oh, I saved everything. A little flame, a little muscle, and poof! I've got my hair back with me. Huh, that's something. He even is the one who suggested this whole setup. You speak to Ash? We know entirely too many people who speak to the dead. Please, my brother is extraordinary. I would expect nothing less from him. But this woman, there's nothing there but madness. <laughs> Hunter, did I do something wrong? No. No. I just forget what it's like to be 17. This is all really new to me. But I guess it's time we talked. I know that you're attracted to me. But right now, with Leandro, and Anthony, I really don't have any time to date someone else. Plus you're 17. So this. That it? We done? Just try not to be too upset about it, okay? I woke up with a massive erection and I assumed it being a day ending with Y, you probably did too. I just thought we could have some fun. <laughs> Sometimes sex is just sex. I have to tell you that. I guess that kind of blew up in my face, huh? Not exactly. Look, I'm still young, and I'm still kind of stupid about a lot of stuff. And when I learned that guy was positive, my heart practically jumped out of my chest, and I had barely touched him. I still have a lot to learn, but... We hear there for a bottle bear. You can stop calling me that any day. Shh. Just let me go, okay? Be quiet. Grown-ups are talking. So if you're not Anthony, who are you? Right. I thought so. Carla? So you can possess him now? Well, like he even put up a struggle. I don't know what's wrong with him these days. He's so weak, he almost let a ballet dancer hijack his body, for Christ's sake. Sorry, Father. Anthony, talk to me. Are you deaf? Shh! He's gone! He's lost it! Anthony? <sighs> I think I have some problems. That's an understatement. Let me do the talking, Horatio. How are we doing, Anthony? <laughs> oh, dandy. You look like you got your hands full. Let me handle this, Anthony. I know what's best for you. Hey, hey, Anthony. I know how hurt you must be. I mean, hurt enough that you would turn to this sort of thing for comfort, but it's going to be okay. He doesn't know that, Anthony. You don't know that. Look at me. Look what I've done. No, I mean, no wonder Hunter doesn't want me anymore. We'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. Let me. I know what's best for you. You won't have to do a thing. Anthony, stop this right now. You're better than this. You're not going to let some dead woman turn you into a murderer. Take control, Anthony. Take control and let me do what I want to do. What I know you want me to do. You hate him, don't you? I do. I hate him so much. Then let me do it. There's nothing wrong with hating him. Let's just hate him. I'm sorry, Carla. I just, I just 
want Hunter back? That's not gonna happen. If... I don't know, but I know this isn't going to help. I'm so stupid. Shh, shh, come on, don't talk like that. Let's just get out of here, okay? Oh, wait, Anthony! Anthony, please, I need your help, Anthony! Anthony! Oh, Anthony, I, I, I need your help, Anthony, come back! Because my ecstasy is more important than... What? What are you gonna... Tell me, right? You can't just leave me here! H hello Hello? It doesn't pay to be a nice girl, I'm telling you. It doesn't pay to be a nice girl. So here's what you do. What's doing? Just relaxing. It's good for my mental health. Look, I had a really great time with you last night. This wasn't meant to be like a morning after thing, or a day after thing, or an after after thing, or an ever after oh, thing. I, or... I get it. Trust me, I'm out the door as soon as the wind starts blowing and the house falls in the Wicked Witch. Uh, I think that was a tornado. I wouldn't take you for someone familiar with gay iconography. Hey, we've all got surprises, Eddie. Edward, I told you. All right, sorry. Eddie's my brother's name. Yes, I know this. You told me, I remember. Yeah. So, where is he? It's gone. His, uh, girlfriend broke both of his arms and chained him to a bed for almost a year. She had some serious abandonment issues. <laughs> yeah, to say the least. Yeah. We were practically inseparable growing up, and we both even moved here together. We probably would support each other no matter what. So no, I just didn't see past Ethel. Uh, the girlfriend, I think. The girlfriend. So, almost a year went by, and we didn't see each other. And then, I rescued him, and I thought that once I did, that everything would go back the way it was, but it didn't. He picked up and moved back home to live with Mother, and they left me here with a crazy husband and a really possessive boyfriend. Looks like you need this more than I do. Is this supposed to scare me? Oh, I don't care if it scares you. It will definitely scar you. Well, I've been scarred before, so do your worst. Veronica, don't antagonize her. Um, boss, I really gotta pee. Put your hand in the bowl, Veronica. What's in the bowl? Sulfuric acid. The bowl, Veronica. No. The bowl, Veronica. Fine. I'll take that. Who are you? I am the Kuchisaki and your little revenge ploy is over. This isn't over! Let her go. She's just a stupid old woman who thinks that causing others pain will help alleviate her own. It doesn't. I know that all too well. Now, look, I'm sorry what I did to you people, but could you please untie me? I really gotta pee. This is really relaxing. I know, right? You're not very good at coloring. Well, there go my dreams of art school. Uh, keep at it, kid. Don't let an old dog steal your dreams. Come in! Aunt, what are you doing here? There's a hurricane outside. Uh, not anymore. Oh, then, gentlemen, gentle boy, looks like you're rid of me. If you allow me, I'll go collect my things. Hey, Edward, I want to thank you for proving to me that you could have a great time with a guy I had sex with the night before. <laughs> Amazing, isn't it? 
We do things with our clothes on. Oh. There's plenty of things we can do with our clothes on. You know where to find me if you care to show me. Good luck with your penis removal. There's a story there. I'm sure. Maybe, maybe later. This is where you ended up last night. Yeah, I thought you could use some space after last night. Look, Ed. I'm sorry that Leandro... Stop it. I signed them. You're free. I love you, Hunter. The thought of losing you terrifies me, but... I don't, I don't deserve you. Oh, God, Come on, Anthony. I... You know what's right. You, you deserve to be happy. I, I don't make people happy. My place really isn't some place you should stay right now. It's, it's not a place. It's not a place for anyone. You could stay here. It's fine. I don't want to lose you, Anthony. So let's spend some time wasting it away. Don't, don't find me. I just don't feel like my keys. You went and changed the game. We're breaking all the rules. My side signs don't matter. It's only time apart